And now UEN proudly presents Cheese Cubed. Three tasty bits of cheese knowledge in one compact package. First, it's cheese by the numbers. Today's number is four. That's the number of cheeses native to the United States. American, Jack, Brick, and Colby. Like milk through a strainer, these are the ways of our cheese. In this week's segment, scientist Dr. Silvana Martini answers your question. What makes a person prefer one flavor of cheese to another? That is actually a very good question. Uh, first of all, we have to realize that different cheeses have different flavors. For example, uh, feta cheese is a very sour uh, cheese. Um, cheddar has a very nutty flavor, and uh, Parmesan, for example, has that uh, tingling sensation that is telling us that that cheese has been aged for a long period of time. But for specific cheeses, people still have different degree of liking or different preferences. So why do people, uh, some people like cheddar and some people don't? Or why some people like uh, feta cheese and some people don't? And that is because every person has different sensitivity towards different flavors or tastes. Um, and a typical example is uh, the sensitivity for bitterness. There have been uh, several studies showing that our sensitivity uh, to uh, bitterness changes from people to people and it's believed that it's in, it's, uh, um, in our uh, genetic background. So about 25% of the population are uh, no tasters for bitterness. That means that people cannot taste any bitterness, not even a very high concentrations. Another 25% of the population are um, super tasters, and that means that they can taste very, very small concentrations of bitterness. And the rest, the 50% uh, uh, of the population, they are intermediate tasters. They can uh, taste intermediate concentrations of bitterness. So the same concept that was found for bitterness is applied to other tastes, like sourness, or um, saltiness, or sweetness. Uh, so for example, a person that likes uh, feta cheese that is very sour, probably is a, has a very high threshold for th sourness. That means that you need to give that person a lot of sourness uh, to uh, generate that sensation in their mouth. My name is Silvana Martini and I am a food scientist. And now it's time for the queso quiz. Test your cheese knowledge. What is affineur? A. Fine tasting cheese. B person who cares for the aging of cheese. C. Person who sells cheese. The answer is B. Affineer is one who cares for the aging of cheese. Cheese Cubed is a tasty bit of cheesy knowledge brought to you by Utah Education Network with support from Cash Valley Cheese, DSM Food Specialties, Schreiber Foods, Gosner Foods Incorporated, and the Western Dairy Center. Learn more at uen.org slash tv.